All right, so welcome back. Last time I showed you like where everything was in Premiere and how to navigate the interface, so on and so forth. And now I'm gonna show you how to export your first little simple video. Now this is probably a little bit more in depth than your first video is gonna be. That's fine, it's just what I was working on at the moment. But basically, what you have to do is you have to go into your main sequence, the, the one where your uh, all your stuff is that you want to render out. And you just want to select anything in there. Just you know, click on something in there. And then go to File, and then Export, and then Media. When you go here, this is going to open up the Export Settings. And you can do all of your... Uh, configuring here before you actually render the video out. So what you want to first think of is what are you going to do with this video? Where are you, where are you going to show it? Do you want to put it on YouTube? That's the most uh, most common probably reason you're rendering a video is because you want to put it on YouTube. But regardless you're probably going to go going to want to go here go to format and go to H.264 that's kind of the standard for video right now and if you don't know what it is then you, you don't really have to worry about it much it's just what you should pick and next on preset you have a few options don't worry about all of these but uh, match source high bitrate that'll render out a video for you it'll look I mean, for your first video, it'll look all right. It's not gonna be horrible. But if you want good quality, you're gonna want to up the bit rate quite a bit. <laughs> no pun intended. But about 20 here, about 20 is really quite high if you're gonna put it on the internet. That's that's about as high as I'd recommend because the more bitrate you have, the larger your file is going to be and the longer it's going to take to upload. And um, most people have slow internet, so you have to consider that. Um, for the bitrate encoding here, this is kind of the quality. If you have the time, I would always select VBR to pass. Um, the quickest is going to be CBR, next highest quality, and then the highest quality. You're, you're probably not going to notice a big difference, honestly, but this takes longer, so, you know, do what you will. Experiment. That's a big factor here. You're going to have to experiment a lot because that's just, it's a learning process. Um, if you're, if you're uploading it to YouTube, I would suggest doing this. Go up over here to preset, go over here, type the letter Y on your keyboard to jump down to this, and in YouTube, select what resolution you're using, and then it just fills out all this stuff for you. Now I would still recommend turning the bitrate up a little bit, unless it's like not a high quality video to begin with. If it's like 1080p 60, 20, I'd go with 20. Uh, sometimes I go up to like 50 just because I can and upload speeds not really a problem for me but 20 is high quality you know for YouTube it's better than YouTube will play back so yeah next we have audio I wouldn't worry with it I wouldn't worry with it I wouldn't worry with any of this um, if you want to just render out a specific part of the video, you can go down here and you can adjust these to the part that you want to render out and you can take this and drag through it like a little preview if you want. And uh, I'm going to make it go for the whole thing now. When you're ready to render it out, when you have your settings like you want them to be. You have two options. You can export it which will render it immediately or you can queue it. Now these are two very important things because if you click export 
what it's going to do is it's going to basically lock down Premiere. You can't use it until it's done rendering your video. And it's going to be pegging out your CPU. It's your, your computer is basically useless while it's doing this. Because you can't minimize Premiere. You can't do anything really. It's just not really <clears throat> an ideal situation. I mean, you can try it if you wish. It's, it's not going to affect the quality at all. But what I do is I click Q. And what that does is it exports it into Adobe Media Encoder. And this is a separate program made or dedicated entirely to rendering out videos. And you'll see your video comes up over here. <clears throat> and pretty much all you're concerned with at this point is where you want it to go. So click here and it'll give you a, a folder this is where it's going to output the video. So go to where you want the video to be rendered into. Click save. And then when you're ready to render out your video, press the play button. And now as you can see, it's rendering out that video that I was doing. And you can see a little preview window here with your uh, status and whatnot, time remaining. And the great thing about this is you can pause it and you can minimize this. So if you wanted to like play a game or something and you didn't want this pegging your CPU at 100, you can just pause it and you can play it again when you're ready to go. You can cancel it as well. You can't do any of those things when you render it directly in Premiere. Your computer's just like locked down it's useless. So there's your uh, rendering tips, I guess. If you want like specific settings, like how to get the best quality and whatnot, there's plenty of videos on that. Honestly, you can just you can just type that into YouTube. That's not really what this video is for. So hopefully, hopefully this was useful. If it was, feel free to leave a like subscribe if you want more I'm gonna be making a few more of these because uh, the first one seemed to do fairly well so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching